Good morning, everyone. Welcome to story time. We ready to sing our hello song with each other? Let's do it. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Hi, hello, and clap your hands. Clap your hands today. Hi, hello, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. Hi, hello, and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet today. Way to go, everybody. That was a great job singing hello. We're going to do our next thing. We are going to read a cool story. Well, we're going to tell a cool story together about a wonderful folk story from Japan called Mr. Lucky Straw. Let's get started. Here we have a story to share with you today. This story is a Japanese children's story. We have a book of Japanese children's stories. This is one of the stories in it. We have it here at our library, so you can always check that out later if you want to. Anyway, this story is called Mr. Lucky Straw and it starts off like many stories do. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there lived a young man named Takaki. There he is. Hello, hello. Takaki was walking home one day from the fields where he was working hard in the fields farming, and he was walking home for the end of the day when he tripped and he fell and he tumbled, 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 tumbled and he landed right on his butt. And when he landed, he had in his hand a long piece of straw, like this, this right here. Look at that. That's like a straw from a hay bale or something. Somehow he ended up with this long piece of straw in his hand, and he said, Well, a straw is a worthless thing, but it's strange that I have it, and it may be here in my hand for a reason, so I'm going to keep this piece of straw. And he kept it while he was walking home. And then on his way home, he saw a dragonfly. It was buzzing around his head. It was making him so crazy. And he's like, oh, that annoying dragonfly. And he grabbed at it and he caught it. It's not easy to catch a dragonfly. He caught the dragonfly, so he tied its tail to the piece of the straw. And now he had this cool dragonfly on a straw buzzing around, flying like it was some kind of crazy dragonfly kite. So he kept on walking home when he saw a mother, there she is, and her child were walking and they saw young Takaki with that dragonfly buzzing around on a piece of straw. And the little boy said, mommy, mommy, please, please, can't I have that dragonfly? So the mother asked Takaki, young man, my son loves that dragonfly you have flying on that piece of straw. Is there any way he can have it? So he said, of course he can have this dragonfly. And he gave the little boy his dragonfly. There he goes. It's on the stick still. He gave it to the little boy. And the little boy was so happy with it. That made his mom happy too. And the mom said, you are so kind. Please take these three oranges that I would like to give you since you shared your dragonfly. So she gave him one orange, two oranges, and three oranges. And then they said bye-bye, and they went home with their dragonfly. Takaki kept walking home. Now he had three oranges, and he thought that was pretty great. But then he saw an old man sitting by the side of the road, a peddler. Now, a peddler is, in the old days, all over the world in the old days, people who were selling things would bring their stuff with them and go to people's houses to sell them instead of people going to a store. They would peddle their goods. They would sell them to people. They might have a cart or a bag or something that they carry them in, but they would sell stuff to people. So he saw this old peddler sitting by the side of the road and this poor gentleman was like, oh, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so Oh, thirsty. I haven't drank anything for hours and hours. Oh, poor me. And Takaki thought, oh, that poor man, maybe he would like 
some of these oranges, he could use them to make juice and he wouldn't be so thirsty anymore. So he said to the peddler, sir, would you like these oranges? You're so thirsty, you could use them to make juice. And the peddler's like, oh, you're such a kind young man, please. I would love to have those oranges. You're so generous. Please take this fabric I have instead. I, I'm so tired, I'm not going further on to sell it. So he gave him these beautiful three pieces of fabric. There's one. Oh, look at this one, another beautiful piece of fabric and a third beautiful piece of fabric that this peddler gave to the boy, to the young man, Takaki. And he said, thank you, young man. And he went off with his oranges so he could make some juice. So Takaki kept walking home and now he had these beautiful fabrics. And it was very lucky because the next person who he saw was the beautiful Princess Kiyomi. And she had her lovely kimono on, but she saw that beautiful fabric of his. And she was like, oh, young man, please, where did you get such beautiful fabric? I must have it so I can make some more new beautiful kimono to wear. And so she asked him, can I have that beautiful fabric? And he said, Please, it would be my pleasure to give this fabric to you so you can make some beautiful kimonos, Princess Kimo Kiyomi. And then she very happily took the fabric. And because she was so happy with him, what did she give him instead? She gave him a bag of gold coins. Now, and she went off with her beautiful fabric. Now, a bag of gold coins is a lot different than taking a straw home for the day. So he took the gold coins home and he bought land near his village. So everyone in his village would have a place that they could farm. And the village got bigger and it prospered and more people came to live there. And young Takaki became quite famous as they started calling him Mr. Lucky Straw because he was able to do such great things and all he did was start off with a worthless, worthless piece of straw. So never, never make the mistake of thinking something is worthless before you know what might happen because of it. So that's the story called Mr. Lucky Straw. And I think now we're going to go ahead and we're going to sing another song. This song is actually, like our story, is a Japanese song. We're going to sing a Japanese song for children. So I'm going to move this board over a little bit and I'm going to back up so you can see my hands totally. And we're going to sing this song. It is called Musunde. And um, it goes like this. Okay, you put your hands together. Musunde. That means put your hands together in Japanese. Hiraite. That means open your hands up again in Japanese. The whole thing is in Japanese. Well, we're, yeah, okay. So, musunde hiraite te o ute. That means my hands are clapping. Musunde mada hiraite. Open your hands again. Te o ute. Clap your hands. And then sono te o ue ni. Put these hands up in the air. That's the song. So we're going to sing it all together, and then we're going to sing it one time together, and then I'll sing it one more time so you can sing with me. Okay, in case you can't do it this time, because it's hard to learn a new song. It goes like this. Musunde hiraite te o ute musunde mara hiraite te o ute so no te o ue ni. All right, you ready to sing it with me? Musunde hiraite te o ute musunde mara hiraite te o ute so no te o ue ni. Good job. Very nice. You guys, that's so excellent. All right, we're going to try a song today. Um, we've sung it in story time before. It's the Grand Old Duke of York, and it's a marching song. So we're going to use our shaker egg today to get the rhythm going. So like march. March, left, left, right, left, 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 
left, right, left. You hear the rhythm? Okay, we're going to start marching to it. You ready? Left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. You hear the marching? March, march. Are you ready to sing the Duke of York? March, 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 march. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right, good. Keep on marching. We're going to sing it again. March, 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 march. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. All right. Woo. March, 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 march. And we're done. We're done. You can stop your march. Good job, you guys. That was so excellent. Okay, let's see what shall we do next. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we're back at our storyboard for another short story. This is actually a little rhyme that, that I know that I have some cool things to share with you. We've got, it's called the frog on a log. Look at, there's the frog and there's the log and he's sitting on it and it goes like this. There once was a little green frog, 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 who sat in the woods on a log, log, log. A screech owl sitting in a tree, tree, tree came after the frog with a scree, scree, scree. Oh, there's the screech owl. You see him? He's scary. He's got big claws, too. When the frog heard the owl in a flash, 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 he jumped in the pond with a splash, 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 and then he got away from the owl. And that is the little story about the frog on the log. So we're going to put it back together again here. We'll put this little guy over here, and we're going to read it together one more time or say it together one more time. Are you ready? There once was a little green frog, 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 who sat in the woods on a log, log, log. A screech owl sitting in a tree, tree, tree came after the frog with a scree, scree, scree. When the frog heard the owl in a flash, 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 he jumped in the pond with a splash, splash, splash. And he got away safely and the owl wasn't able to catch him. And that's our story, the frog on a log. Well, we're going to sing another song. We're going to sing a song that's from a Moroccan children's song, and it's called A Ram Sam Sam. And then we're going to sing another song about a frog, too, because, I don't know, frogs just seem like a good idea today. All right, so let's sing our song, A Ram Sam Sam. This song, as I said, it's a Moroccan children's song. I actually learned it in Girl Scouts. And the fun thing about this song is while you're singing it, you have to get faster and faster and keep doing it super fast at the very end, okay? So we're going to start out. I'm going to teach you slowly how to do it, and we're just going to keep going faster and faster. It goes like this. It goes, a ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a rafi, a rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a rafi, a rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Okay. Faster, a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, rafi, a uh, rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, 
a Rafi, a Rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, rafi, a uh, rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, rafi, a uh, rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, a uh, ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam, a uh, rafi. A Rafi, a Rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A Rafi, a Rafi, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Are you ready to go super duper fast? Here we go. Uh, ram sam sam, a uh, ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a uh, ram sam sam, a uh, ram sam sam, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a rafi, a rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam, a rafi, a rafi, gooly 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 ram sam sam. Oh, did you mess up too? I messed up a little bit. That was fun. That's a fun song, you guys. I think now we're going to go ahead and do one more cool song. We're going to do that frog song I talked to you about. Let's get ready. Here we go. Now back to another song for our story time. We're going to do a song today called Gloop Gloop Went the Little Green Frog One Day. And it's a silly one. We're going to start it off. We're gonna do just like a ram, Sam Sam. We're gonna do it faster as we go. But this is the basics. It goes like this. Bloop, bloop, went the little green frogs one day. Bloop, bloop, went the little green frog. Bloop, bloop, went the little green frog one day. And they all went bloop, bloop, blob. But we know the frogs go la-di-da-di-da, la-di-da-di-da, la-di-da-di-da. We know that frogs go la di da di da and they don't go gloop, gloop, glob. Faster? Gloop, gloop, went the little green frogs one day. Gloop, gloop, went the little green frogs. Gloop, gloop, went the little green frogs one day. And they all went gloop, gloop, glob. But we know the frogs go la di da di da la di da di da la di da di da we know that frogs go la di da di da and they don't go gloop, gloop, glob. Gloop, gloop went the little green frogs one day. Gloop, gloop went the little green frogs. Gloop, gloop went the little green frogs one day and they all went gloop, gloop, glob. But we know the frogs go la di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da. We know the frogs go la di da di da and they don't go gloop, gloop, glob. Good job, you guys. That was so excellent. Well, that means it is time for us to sing our goodbye song to each other. Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. So just smile and wink your eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. You guys did a great job today. I'll see you soon for another story time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.